European forests, a land inhabited by plenty of fascinating species that form together a perfectly balanced ecosystem. Our journey begins in one of those forests. However, to be able to fully experience the richness of these woods, we must learn how to move around them. Let's start by learning how to move the camera. To do so, press W, A, S, D, or arrows on your keyboard. You can also drag the mouse along the edge of the screen. To rotate the camera, hold the middle mouse. You can zoom the camera out and then zoom. Once you know how to control the camera, your first task is to look around the map and find the rabbit. This fluffy animal is certainly gambling somewhere in the grass. To select a group of animals, hold the left mouse button and drag the rectangle over as many of them as you want to select. Sometimes it will be necessary to select all animals visible on the screen quickly. To do so, double click on the chosen animal, in this case, the rabbit. When an animal is selected, you get access to its statistics panel. There you can check the number of selected animals and their energy, hydration, and satiety levels. To make the panel disappear, uncheck the animal by clicking on the empty spot on the map. Now try to deselect the rabbit. Now you know where to look for information about animals. Try to find a hungry rabbit on the map. Those little creatures feed on many distinct plants such as young bushes, saplings, or berries. However, one of their favorite food is clover, which they can find plenty of in the local green fields. This animal is hungry. This animal is hungry. Now that they are fed, rabbits can do something else. It's high time to search for a source of water. Fortunately, there are many ponds and streams available nearby. The animal isn't thirsty. The animal isn't thirsty.
the animal isn't thirsty. The animal isn't thirsty. Some of these animals are thirsty. The animals aren't thirsty. The animal isn't thirsty. Now that the basic needs of those magnificent creatures are satisfied, we can observe the start of their mating ritual. As the male approaches the female, they start performing a sort of dance, where the female fights off the male until he proves to be the worthy partner. After mating, the rabbits have to go to their shelter. Unfortunately, they don't have one yet. Go ahead and assign them a burrow in which they can hide and rest. When the European rabbit is not feeding or mating, they prefer to spend their time underground. They stay in deep burrows made out of a series of tunnels reaching a couple of meters in depth. There, they spend most of their time hidden away from predators and unwanted guests. This is where our rabbits are now. They went underground to find a safe and cozy place to give birth. Looks like another species has arrived in the forest. Wild boars have entered the area searching for food and shelter. It seems that they will need some help. Wild boars are omnivorous. Although they don't hunt, they sometimes eat carrion. However, they feed mainly on what they find in the undergrowth or by etching in the ground. It includes acorns, earthworms, rhizomes of plants, mushrooms, insects, and rodents, whose barrows they can find thanks to their sensitive sense of smell. The amount of food in a given area is limited, and it is not always enough for all animals. So as it is now, there is no more food for boars on this side of the road. They have to get across the street. As the human influence on the animal kingdom grows, the animals are facing more dangers than ever before. Not only do they have to run away from the predators, but they also have to avoid humans whose actions are constantly threatening their lives. Now, as they have already crossed the road and finished eating, wild boars need some rest. To this end, they go to their nest, which are usually covered with litter, dry grass, or branches. Predators are an inherent part of the proper ecosystem, and their presence helps regulate the number of other animals. A wolf 
known for its hunting skills, has arrived in the forest in the search for prey. However, he can't hunt a nearby boar pack alone. He must look for a smaller animal to hunt. Fortunately, rabbits are playing on the other side of the road. This is an excellent target for a hungry predator. The only thing that divides the wolf and its meal is a dangerous road. After crossing the road, the wolf spotted a herd of rabbits nearby. Known for their excellent hearing and speed of movement, rabbits are a challenge for the untrained hunter. However, this particular wolf knows well how to approach and attack his unsuspecting target. governed by the laws of nature, even if sometimes they may seem brutal to us. Unfortunately, for this particular rabbit, life has ended its course, but for others, it just starts going on. Look, a bunch of small defenseless bunnies has just appeared next to the rabbit hole. Charming. However, where new life begins, instructions end. Now you know how to take care of the forest and its fauna all by yourself. Good luck then.